Hey guys, how's it going? Um, in this video I'm going to show you a few fixes for the ALS plus survival game get merge, such as the um, stamina not stopping once you, not changing your gate once you hit zero sprint and uh, the fix for it so the camera isn't colliding with other players. I'll also do some things from Brian Eldridge's channel, which would be the or his Discord server, little pictures that that he's taken and posted for people to view. Um, one will be the ragdoll when dying, and another will be the fix for fall damage when using multiplayer on a dedicated server. There'll be a few other small changes like the running animation. I'm going to show you how to set it up so when you're not holding a weapon it'll use the ALS as well, which is pretty easy. So without further ado, I'm going to get into that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up your survival game kit, blueprints, component, player inventory component. And once you're in here, you want to search for set master character. There's just three that we should be looking at, or four, I think. Yeah, there's four. Okay, if you don't have this window, by the way, you can always just click window, click find results, and we'll open up the same search. So, first thing we want to do is click the first one. And we're gonna right click right here because we're gonna we're, we need some things from the ALS base character and since this is the parent it's the top it, it doesn't go through the ALS base character but if we set everything to the ALS base character everything will go through this and into the ALS base character so you will be able to grab everything so you want to right click and cast to ALS base character and this unplug all this stuff. Or actually, we can just quickly just click on that set and search AL and type in ALS base character and change that variable type first. Do some searching, which won't really do much. Just a few things in this class. Or blueprint, sorry. And, uh, from here you just want to plug this into the new, you'll notice a new one will come up here for the LS base character. And you can just make sure everything, you hold, by the way, you, you, can hit, you hold control and you, and you can click and drag nodes. You can just plug them in normally, but it's easier that way. Once you have that done, you delete that, move that up. It's going to compile so I can get directly to all the areas. Secondary, I guess. Yeah. Oh, because it was auto saving, of course. Okay, master character. Now that we compiled, there's a three years left after we did that first one. First one you want to. Oh, we want to. You could copy the first ALS base character. I'm just going to copy this one right here. Control C, right click and copy. Or right click and copy, because we're going to be using it a few times. And just um, plug this in there. Hold Control and drag them in. And see, you can just mess it up. You can just always plug it in anyway. And now that that one's done, it's two. And you control B e to paste that in. Control click to drag these. A little pet peeve for things are touching together like that. I can't properly click things. And control V, 
Control click, drag them down. And that's that done. Okay, it's taking a while for me to compile at the moment for some reason. And there's this every now and then, I don't know why. Anyway, we want to. After we do all that, we want to search for decrease stamina. And decrease stamina. Now that we have the ALS base character called as the master character, we can change. We can change the name of this too to ALS base character too. Just the, just the naming we wanted. So, but now that we can. We can call anything from the master character since it's the parent of this one, or from the ALS base character. So now that we can do call from the ALS base character, we want to call the gate ALS set ALS gate event, not the multi-class or the server, just the gate event. And we're gonna drag this over a little bit, make some room. Control click here. Drag those over there, and then just plug that in there, and uh, set this to running, because that'll just change from the sprinting to the jog animation, the normal. Yeah, it seems it's. I'm just gonna start pausing the video. While this is happening, I'm not sure why it's doing this right now. Could because I have three projects open. Make like fifteen pages on Firefox. Um, that should I'm just gonna save all test it out. That should fix it so you're you'll now should now um once you hit zero it'll switch to from the sprinting to the running state. But you notice once you hit 10, it goes back down if you're still holding shift. So a fix for that would be you want to go into your I gotta get used to doing this just to show you the so everybody can get used to the paths and everything. You want to click in advanced locomotion, ALS space character. And in here you want to go to the event graph. Do every frame in the event tick. And then over to sprint check. And right here we want to check for if their sprint is above five or and if they're in and if they should sprint. So if they should sprint and we're gonna look for a float greater than float. And you should sprint this grid and in your stamina, which okay, so we need to get the player inventory component to get our stamina. Because that's where this that's where they store the stamina. And you just plug this into the top here, so if the stamina is greater than five and you should sprint. I tried setting it to 10 and other values too. For some reason, there's like a little bit of a delay. I'll look into fixing that. So it's like, so it's 100% perfect, but this, this is pretty good for now. So I'm holding shift just to drain my sprint down. It stops, and now I'm gonna start sprinting again. See, it once it's five, it sprints for like a second, so you get like an extra little bit of sprint there. But when you set it to ten, for example, causes. Actually, I'm gonna try setting it to nine. That's right before. So, just doing a little bit of testing here. Should have the sprinting working all good now. 
you don't want to, you can skip ahead in the video until I'm past the testing. Shouldn't be that long. Let's see what I mean. We're at like, once you hit 9 now, it'll stop. So I'll uh, set that to 5 for now, and then I'll look up a fix for that. Or I'll try to get a, make a fix for that, because you can't just look it up. <laughs> And quietly eat in the background. Probably should just pause the video. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I have a list here just quickly so I know what we're gonna do next. Uh, so if we, you notice when I start up in the two ponds near the camera, it doesn't. Collide, the camera collides with the player, so that's something that we probably don't want. Say we have a bunch of people in here, it'll really it'll be hard to do anything. People can maybe use it to their advantage if they really know how to abuse it. Um, so we want to go to the mesh near your LS base character. And for collision presets, you want to click custom. And you just want to ignore the camera. Compile and save that. I'm pretty sure we have it to automatically save on success only. So now, camera still bumps the player. Okay, I'm just going to pause here and quickly take a look at that. Shouldn't be a hard one. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, so I uh, forgot about the capsule component. You want to go into the ALS base character, capsule component. Go over right here, click that, and then scroll down to collision and just click ignore capsule. It's not on custom, set it to custom and then, so you can click this. I'm just going to double check that out. Didn't need to set it here as well. Because I also set it here first off. No way. You know, I just set it there too. It doesn't. Yeah. You just need to set it in the capsule component and the mesh. But to ignore the camera and ignore the camera and you, you don't need to but you can do it in here too it's not you don't need to unless you're using this for some reason um so that will fix the camera bumping into the character next on our list we are going to do Ragdoll when dying. So okay. So to ragdoll and death, we're just gonna go to the FS locomotion, characters, mannequin, mannequin anim BP. And my Unreal is gonna crash, so I'm gonna pause while I load that up again. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm not too sure right now what's wrong with my animation movement. Actually, I am because I checked the crash report it's actually something to do with my engine's um engine I guess won't doesn't want to find something in there. I'm gonna figure that out. And uh if I figure it out I will maybe upload it with another fixes video I do another one. If there's anything else or part of another video because I will be doing more for survival game kit. Um Okay, so 
if you want to join Brian Eldridge's Discord channel, I'll leave a, a link to that in the description so you can check out these in the code examples yourself. But uh, so if you want to ragdoll in death, all you're going to want to do is in the I believe it's the event graph. Yeah, it's the event graph of the mannequin, mannequin and MVP. So you want to disconnect all the stuff that's being played to play the animations. And then I'm pretty sure there's a variable for the ALS base character in there. If not, you can create the variable and set it to the ALS base character up in the corner. Um, you drag out of that, you right click it to get the two ragdoll event. And then you just connect it there. So that's connected. And then there's this first person. He actually has exactly where the location is. Make sure yours looks like that for the initialize animation. And in, in the first person anim, you want to switch your call the ALS space character. You need to create a variable for this one. Set it to the ALS base character, drag off this to get this, and then connect that. Sorry, I can't actually show you it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's basically the fix right there. Or not the fix, the feature you want to add that. You can keep the death animations if you want, it's up to you. Um Yeah, that's about everything for this video. If you'd like to see more, make sure to, to like, subscribe, leave a suggestion if you have anything that you uh, want to see done. And that's about it. Take care, guys.